Hi, it's Johanna. I am welcoming you today to, um, I'm going to say it's my first episode of what I am calling What's in the Bag. And it's a reference to project bags and what's in my project bag, also known as what am I working on? Um, and the answer to that is a lot of different things, which is so normal for me. And I love that. Um, I should, it was kind of a play off of when I used to do my live videos called What's in the Box. And I used to open the boxes. So I thought I'd call this What's in the Bag. It might be, also be called What's on my project table. But um, no, it's a What's in the Bag. I keep everything in project bags as I'm working on them. And I have lots of things going on in different mediums. And... I don't know if I mentioned, but I am becoming a creativity coach. I'm taking a course, a certification course, which is several months long, um, live classes, lots of reading and homework and practice to become a creativity coach. And it's fascinating and I love it. And it's, I'm learning so much. Um, one of the things that I've um, learned in recent times is that a lot of people get very stuck because they think that they can't work on more than one project at a time, that they have to finish one project before they go on to the next project. Not quite sure where that's written in the rule book, but that's just simply not the case. And as I will be the first to tell you, there are things that I do in front of the television, things that I can bring on an airplane, things that are messy, um, you know, some things that are tactile, some things that are relaxing, some things that are energizing. So I have different um, creative projects going at the same time that kind of suit my situation and my mood. And I love that. I, I really couldn't just be working on one thing. Uh, that just wouldn't suit me. And it's okay if you do just want to work on one thing. But, you know, if you're in the middle of a project, maybe it's a, like, you know, you're knitting a sweater and it's it's taking a really long time and you know you see something about you know sewing a, a bowl cozy or something you know it's okay to go on to another project and and put that aside you know the one you're working on and and go back and forth or do one and then go back to the other it's really whatever makes you happy um you know whatever brings you joy in your creative process so um i want to show you a couple of things that i am working on today um, or that I have been working on. So um, I am doing, let's see, where do I want to start? Um, well, you'll notice that I have this um, necklace on that I made many years ago with um, vintage charms. These are elephants with Swarovski crystal and some vintage chain. And I made it with elephants because um, my eldest son used to love elephants when he was younger. So that was always a, you know, kind of a collected thing in our house. So this is elephants. Um, this was AJ's favorite animal. Um, so over the weekend, I was up in West Palm Beach at the Rust Market, which is like a flea market. It's really super awesome. Really nice people, some nice vendors. So I got some treasures that I can make into found object jewelry. Um, you know, sometimes it's nice to go to, I love to go to flea markets and antique shows. Um, I was talking with somebody in Texas about Round Top and I was saying that's on my bucket list to go to because I like, she's like, how do you know about Round Top? I said, I, I know about all these, you know, the big shows because I love to go. I get a lot of inspiration, uh, creative inspiration when I go to antique shows and um, flea markets and things. So, you know, everybody finds inspiration in different places. I like to know where you find inspiration. So I was at the Rust Market in West Palm and it's nice to go and look for small things, you know, as opposed to furniture. I, at one point I was like collecting furniture and then you need a whole trailer to get stuff, you know, if you're furnishing. But um, I went and everything I got, I could, um, you know, kind of more or less fit in my hand. So I got some like really cool little, I got some like vintage keys and um, vintage Japanese tin things. I got some more charms. There's a dog one coming, a sheep, so I can you know, maybe make a wool themed one. Um, so I got some charms, game pieces. Um, look at this. I got this big 
giant safety pin. I see something cool in my future. Um, so that was really fun. And I always get some inspiration. I also got a couple of um, vintage linens that I'm going to dye and use for fabric. So that is um, always fun. So yeah, I guess I've, the, the jewelry thing has kind of been um, cropped up again. I have a friend who is making um, beautiful malas out of necklace. She does like the, you know, little tiny intricate knots. Um, and actually we went to get some beads because she's going to teach me how to do that. So look at these pretty beads. These are kind of, um, they're glass. Just, I don't know, they're pretty kind of iridescent. So I'm going to make a mala and maybe I'll put a little, this is a little pendant. Maybe I'll put a pendant at the end. Anyways, um, so I got that and then the jewelry bug kind of cropped up again. So when I was at the flea market, I picked up some small little goodies and I may break out my jewelry tools, um, which are in my handy dandy, very organized tool chest over there. And I might make another necklace or two. I think I'm kind of ready for um, some new accessories. I'm always ready for some new accessories. Um, so that's one of the things. And I am, I, mean, I showed you the yarn that I was knitting. So I, I got two skeins done so far. Aren't these pretty? Um, so this, I'm gonna start knitting this. I got this on Etsy. It's called the Scrap Heap Hoodie Knitting Pattern by Jesse Also Knits. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't tell you if it's a good pattern or not yet, but I'll keep you posted. Um, but I'm gonna cast on, cause it's for Funky Chunky and it's a cardigan with a hood. I think I might make it a little longer. Um, not make it too, too big, but I'm about to cast on with that. Um, and I have to make a lot more yarn. So I'm also making books. And I think I may have mentioned um, that I was doing some jelly plate printing. That is something that we had done in the store on some fabric and on some paper. And I had been making all kinds of really cool prints on paper. And um, so now I kind of trimmed up the paper and I'm about to make them into a book. So here is the printed pages. And some are plain, some are a little more interesting using some stencils. Um, here's some like using stencils on the jelly plate, which is always fun. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, you know what? I think it looks better in on the camera than it does me looking at it. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to, oh, I, you know what? I, I decoupaged some like vintage tissue pattern paper from old um, sewing patterns, which is very cool. Um, some of this has some iridescence to it, all kinds of different colors. So um, I'm going to sew this into a book. This has some mark making on top. And yeah, so I'm gonna sew this into a book. And I think it's going to be very cool. I used to be very into book making. I've taken a bunch of courses. Um, I took classes at Art and Soul and other places um, over the years, everything scrapbooks. And it, I just, I love it. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of the books that I've made. Um, this I had made with uh, a teacher. Her name is DJ Pettit. I don't know if she's still teaching, um, but it's, we painted the cover and so there's fabric in here and some painted pages. So this really hit, you know, everything I like. You got your fabric, you got your paper, a little painting, and then we sewed these signatures which and with buttons. Isn't that great? I loved this class. Let's see a back cover. This was such a good class. Um, and I've done something I guess not painted, but this is a sewn cover, kind of similar with the buttons, um, fabric and sewn signatures. And these are actually the little subscription cards that you find inside of magazines. You know, they always fall out. I wanted to do something with those and, oops, upside down, sorry. Um, so this, these were stamped and sewn. And so I made this book. Oh, when I was in Bali, we made a book. So we made this also with um, some vintage, I guess this is batiks, but this is some fabric from Bali. And then we 
and some watercolor. So these were some of the things that we did when we were on our trip. We put our projects in here. Um, so this was, we, we made our book and then we worked in it when we were there. And then I embroidered Bali 2019. Oh, I want to go back. Okay, and then I made this one. This is made out of a cereal box and with sewn signatures, no buttons, but this is all different types of paper inside. I can go into more depth if that's, if you'd like to see them, but, um, but I made these, no fabric in this, this is all paper, um, but I think it's really cool. And this last one looks like a book. So this one kind of feels like a regular book and is, um, I guess it's not perfect bound. I don't remember the name of the binding. I'm going to do a little more research or, you know, refresh my memory. Um, but this is like real binders tape. This is fabric covered on the, uh, so you can't, see, you can see where I sewed in here, but it's a little more book-like. Um, and it feels a little more, you know, traditional book-like. And all of the pages are the same, more or less size but it was like leftover painted pages and copies and scrapbooking paper and such. So these are all books I've made in the past. I was actually tasked um, to do some research for a book project. So I'm working on some books. And besides that book, I've been playing with some old vintage ephemera, some old maps um, and some old aerial view photos, um, vintage photos. So um, I, got some, I got some fun paper crafting in the works. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. I was actually hoping to get this out um, a couple days ago, but I had a cold and I didn't want to be out here like coughing on, you know, on the, as I'm recording. Um, so finally, I am working on, gotta do, of course I have to be working on a art quilt. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I may have mentioned, so this is kind of my own um, take on kind of a hybrid collage, and this is reverse applique, and I'm hand, I'm hand, like big stitch quilting it in, in here. So I think this is going to be pretty cool looking, and I'm really enjoying making this. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to finish. Um, so that's what I'm working on. So I got some quilting, some yarn and knitting, spinning, um, bookmaking, jewelry making, and I feel like I got my collage elements here from that project all over my table. Um, so I have a little bit of everything going on and, and that's so fun for me because, you know, I wake up, get what I got to get done or whatever. And then I can kind of decide, you know, what do I feel like doing? Like last night I was sitting and watching, I don't remember what, um, but you know, I was doing, I was hand quilting and, and the other night I was spinning some of the yarn. I'm going to, I need to make more, um, to make my cardigan. So it's, it's fun. Um, and then of course, treasure hunting to make jewelry is just so much fun because when you find a piece, you look and say, okay, what, like, what can I do with this? What can I, you know, I have some, I found some other really cool pieces. Okay, like, what can I do with this? It's an old car. Like, you know, I just think that there's so much possibilities in things when you just kind of think about what, you know, the possibilities and, and what you can make with things. So, um, on that note, that's what I'm working on. That is what is in my bag, or I should say, bags my many project bags but I love it and I'm going to continue to add to my projects finish my projects and of course start new projects um, so I will encourage you also to make time to make something um, if you feel like it let me know what you're working on in the comments um, let me know where you get inspiration which I had asked in the comments um, and if there's anything else that you'd like to see leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and I'll be back with some more videos and I'm going to do some tutorials as well. So keep, if you haven't subscribed, 
subscribe below, share with your friends, and come back and visit me real soon. Bye.